the quality is something that I've got to get used to and the availability because I haven't found a persimmon. I'm looking at everyone's Instagram and everyone's eating persimmons. Like, why can't I find a persimmon? There are lots of things I love about the United States. I love going to California and getting the fresh food there. I love that Hawaii is a part of the United States. I love the nature. I love a lot of the people. A lot of my friends are from the US, but the food quality in Washington, pff, it's no good. It just, it's not very good. <laughs> I'll just say that. I haven't been able to find organic food anywhere near Lake Stevens, Washington yet. I know I'm near Seattle and everyone's like, why don't we, why don't you just go into Seattle? Why don't you just do a meetup? But the thing that people forget is that I don't drive and I have no access where I'm currently staying to bus routes, there's no bicycles and I don't drive. So me getting anywhere is kind of a challenge and it's something that I always deal with when I'm traveling. I know I put myself in that situation because I could easily drive, but I just don't want to for my own personal reasons and also for environmental reasons. But Thank God I ordered those dates ahead of time because they are what <laughs> are fueling me right now. They are getting me through this, so thank you to the date people. Today I'm writing my first quarterly article for Fruit Powered Magazine. I'm going to be writing regularly for Fruit Powered Magazine four times a year. And in this particular article, which is going to go live on November 12th, I'm talking about how my diet has changed over time and how I've let go of restrictions and limitations and really embraced food freedom. I think Ryan and I need to get a sound system like this. Ryan, if you're watching, this is uh, this is next on the list for us. Hey buddy, what you doing? And today I'm uh, heading over to a friend. Yeah, he's a he's an artist and he's also a welder and he's uh, putting together some legs for a bench. And this is part of the bench. It's a live edge chunk of red cedar. It's uh, salvaged from a cut block way up north Vancouver Island by my friend who I'm making it for. It's really neat to work with salvaged materials. I really love. Um, working with natural materials, but more so salvage materials because of the environmental benefits of doing that. 